Once you've seen the all plan interface, I'll show you the palettes and what you can use them for. You will find them on the left side of the screen. If you select the palettes, you can also pin them permanently so that they remain open. First you see the properties palette. This provides all the necessary information about the settings you are currently drawing with or informs you about all the details when you have selected an element. You can also edit this information directly in this palette. Many elements such as doors or windows can also be adjusted directly in this palette after they have been selected. You can also adjust several objects at the same time. Now you see the palette assistance. In this example, you can see the BIM Easy Wizard with a lot of predefined information that you need for the IFC export. You can also use other wizards that you can find on Connect or create your own. The elements from the wizard are then only taken over with a double click on the right and you are ready to go. Next you will see the library palette. Here you will find many useful contents such as windows, doors, furniture, cars, plants or python parts. Next I will show you the object palette. To show you some of the possibilities of this palette, I will switch to the animation view. Here you can display all the elements, sorted according to defined criteria. In the example I have used the sorting by drawing file content. Now I can define transparencies. Control visibilities. Mark elements. Or change colors for better visibility. With the layers palette you can display all layers in the project or create new ones. You can use the Issue Manager palette if you are working on a project together with others. The Connect palette gives you direct access to the content on Connect. The Layer palette offers you the possibility to control the visibility of your layers directly while working. You can make layers invisible, activate or freeze them. The layers also have a great influence on the drawing types. I will come to this in the video plan layout. In the following video you can learn more about the projects.